Hi guys, I'll try this again. Um, introduction to my video on neighbor and, and in general behaviors, toxic behavior. Um, for example, um, I'm using the word toxic Karen and toxic Ken themes of behaviors, um, either neighbors or especially in general. Usually this is a US internet street slang. I'm reading this off my screen, by the way. And um, it's an internet slang of middle-aged white people, basically. Um, I don't see people as black or white in behaviors or of impulsive emotional insecurities that dictate people's behavioral actions. Which means they're un when they're doing that, they're un to them, they're not, they don't know they're doing it when they behave that way. When it's impulsive, they don't know they're doing it. I see um, us as human beings um, I'm no different than anyone else. Um, I make mistakes because I'm not perfect. Um, no one is. There's no such thing. Um, so remember, context is everything. So anyone who interprets this in a negative way is definitely on you um, because it wasn't meant in that regard. Thank you. Hey folks, um, 13th, Monday, March 2023, 9, 19pm, Monday evening, um, this is about neighbour behaviours or controlling behaviours, however you like to call it, um, my experience is that when people want to be in control, they'll either hide behind stereotypes, gender types, be in control, hide behind gender to be in control. Um, even um, anything basically that they can use, manners, um, anything they can use to hide behind to justify what they're saying, um, to demoralize and do whatever they can. Um, the most common one I see in public housing is people hiding behind children even if they're not their own they will make accusations about you in front of children so that you cannot so that if you do um, reply back and defend yourself whatever they're saying they'll say oh you can't say that in front of children when they've just done it themselves um, so that's the type of thing you have to be aware of um, to protect yourself because unfortunately there's people out there who do behave like that and I can assure you they don't care one way or the other as long as they get the end result some people don't know they do that others definitely know that they do this behavior um, some behaviors I've seen I just basically just call it gangster behavior which is basically street rules that they invent to benefit them and no one else or one set of rails for them, another set of rails for you. Um, they don't care about if they live in a democracy or not. As far as I'm concerned, I live in a democracy, I follow democratic rules, that everyone's equal, regardless of gender and age, basically. Um, and there has to be individual rights as well as rights for children, adults, and so on. And um, when you get people behaving like this, um, they don't care because I don't see you as an equal um, for them their insecurities is all about being in control and pointing it out and understanding people does not change their behaviors um, because they will just find someone else to tell them what they want to hear or invent something that allows them to hear what they want to hear and see that's what people do so Will this help anybody? I don't know. It might, it may not. Um, but it's there if people want to look at it. And um, um, as I said, my videos I put up for posterity. I don't get paid for them. I don't make money off my videos. So um, if someone can use this to help themselves and you know to protect themselves against people like that, 
or you know. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, so this is an, an edit into the first video. Um, so yeah, people are even hide behind pets to justify what they're doing. Um, just so they can demoralize you. And people say, what's demoralizing? It's, it can be anything from um, accusing you of bad manners to um, not cleaning, not doing something that, you know, could easily be interpreted in the wrong way. Um, that's what you have to be um, careful about. Um, does it matter? Well, it is because I call it trash talk, and this trash talk without people and talking to you directly um, means that they will get aggressive towards you. Because I've learnt that what will happen is people will try to, well, trash talk you, isolate you, then gang up on you. A simple tactic, but that's what they will do. No matter who they are, regardless of gender or whatever. And you remember teenagers always, always project the, the, the behavior of those that are looking after them, whether it's parents, guardians, or whatever. With their own ideas, of course. And because, you know, age groups are predictable and certain age groups are just single minded and just assume the worst is what they will do so yeah hope this helps thanks